hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started over here i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 pieces and my resolution is going to be 300 RGB color. Then you click OK. So this is our working background. So now the first things I'm going to do, then I'm going to copy the color code I'm going to use in this tutorial. So over here is the background color. So Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your solid color. Then Ctrl plus V to apply it. Then after this one, the second one I'm going to do now, then I'm going to my resource background. Then over here, I'm going to import this image over here. So I'm going to import this one. Then take it up. Then go to filter, select blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to use 15.3 percent. Then click on OK. After that, then you go to your blending mode and then select screen. Then to give you something like this, then apply your layer mask then G on your keyboard to apply blending. So before then you can see this place. So I'm going to change it to black and white. Now you can apply your blending. So it's okay like this. Then having done this one now, so the second thing now, I'm going to apply this cross here. Then import it, then take it up, scale it a little. Then over this one, I'm going to change the blending mode to luminosity, like this. Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, and you blend it. So you have something like this. So the other one again i'm going to bring go back to your resource file and i'm going to bring this background here and this one i will drag it down position it over here then scale it a little all right then go to your blending mode then and change it to pin light pin light then you can now apply your layer mask and then blend the top here okay so then having done this one now so we now move to the next one so over here now i'm going to import another background which is not here all right so over here now what i'm going to do i will go to my background then i'm going to make use of this background here Then I'll take it and place it over here. Then change the blending mode to screen. Something like this. Okay. Now, having done this one, then I'm going to apply a layer mask. Then select your gradient tool and you blend it. this way it's okay then i'm going to select this cross here select the layer mask of this cross then select your gradient tool and i will blend over here i'll blend over here all right so then go back to your background 
and over here i'm going to import this background then reduce the size like this then okay and i'm going to change the bloody mode to overlay to get something like this then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool then apply it to the bottom here then over here and the top then you will have something like this now we are done with this one so the next thing now we now proceed to our text then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this logo here and now we reduce the size then bring it over here zoom in then come over here and i will select my ellipse tool select the cycle now i'm going to draw a cycle then leave the background white now i'm going to select this one hold your shift key then while you select the logo and apply vertical and horizontal alignment to fix this inside so you can see how it come out then you can reduce the size a little then now select your test tool and i'm going to paste my test ctrl plus v to paste and i will change the font to go bold now reduce the size then select your test tool and i'm going to change the font alignment to the title is the test alignment to right then this way now i'm going to change the font color to yellow something like this it's okay then go to your drop shadow and make use of this setting over here the distance is three spread six and the size is nine so my blending mode is normal and the opacity is 100 percent then click ok Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate, or you drag it here to duplicate it. Then I'll bring this one over here. Select. Now go to your test document and I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now you can increase the character spacing, not that much. Something like this is okay. Then I'm going to right click on this one and clear the layer style. Then apply your stroke. Then something like this. And the size is 2. Okay. Then Ctrl plus A to select all, then apply vertical alignment to centralize it, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So here is the outcome of it. Alright, so having done this one now, the next thing to go about is this one. So I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus 
V to paste and now I'm going to close the character spacing by 0% then you bring it to the center over here increase the size then go back to your test and I'm going to change the font here to this font here called watches no, I'm sorry I mean um, Javacon so I'm going to use the font Javacon then I'll position it around here Then go to your drop shadow. Then I will still use the same setting over here. Then click OK. Now I'm going to copy this one. But before then, I will copy this one first. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. The control plus V to paste. Then bring it over here. Then now I'm going to change the font to this font watches. So this is the font I'm going to use for the test there. Then increase the size. Then I'll position it over here like this. Alright, for now, let it be like this. And uh, on this test, I'm going to use color overlay, I mean gradient overlay. So here is the setting I'm going to use. So, and uh, over here, I'm going to update the color code to this place. So this is the color I'm going to use. Then on this one now, I'm going to also uh, apply bevel and emboss. So as you can see, I use smooth for my techniques. Then under the styles is inner bevel and the depth is 115 and the size I'm using 16. So the angle is 90 and the altitude here I'm going to make use of. I'm going to make use of 21. Then on this angle, I'm going to change this angle to 100. And the contour I'm using is this one over here. All right. So now that we have this one, then apply a drop shadow. And the drop shadow for this one then the distance here is 5 and the, the spread is 4 and the size then I'm going to increase the size to 21 something like this then click OK so this is how we got the, the test effect here now I'm going to draw an ellipse then change the color to yellow and over here I'm going to copy this test here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and I'm going to 
change the fonts to go bold like this then you reduce the size and also i'm going to change the color to black now i will bring it over here then select the cycle and the font then i'll position it around here and uh, i'm going to drag this one up so that it will be above it and i will place it like this then i will increase the size of this test effect so now i'm going to increase this one something like this is okay then this one i'm going to reduce the size Then I will reduce the size of this one like this. It's okay. All right. Now I'm going to select them all. Hold your shift key while you select it. Then you can increase them together. And also I will move it to this location. All right. Then Ctrl plus G to group it together. So having concluded it with this one, so the next one I'm going to do, I'm going back to my test. Then before the test, I'm going to import this image over here. Then you reduce the size. Then I will position it over here and increase the size something like this all right then i'll drag it back to this position so that the test will be on top of the image now i will increase the size all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to right click and rasterize the image then go to your image, go to adjustment brightness and I'm going to bright the image. Also apply contrast, then I'll click OK. It's OK like this. Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to my test document. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font to go bold. Reduce the size. Then go to your drop shadow, then apply the first setting we have, that is 3, and uh, this one is 6, that's the spread, and the size, then 9, something like this, then click OK. Now I will position it around here, it's OK. Then come over here to copy the name. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. 
then you bring it down, select your test tool, highlight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the alignment to left and change the font color to white. Alright, so now I'm going to reduce the size. something like this then I'm going to draw a rectangle I will draw a rectangle over here and uh, I will apply this color then drag it down then hold your shift key while you select it all and now we bring it to this position somewhere here is okay okay then after this one the next thing we are going to date and time then ctrl plus c to copy then go back to your resource document i mean your resource file and i'm going to import this icon over here reduce the size then our position is around here the control plus u for hue and saturation then change the background color to white now select your test tool A control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the color, I mean the font to go bold. Now hold your shift key. Then I will reduce the size like this. And also reduce the size like this. Then I will take it over here. Reduce the size. Oh, it's okay like this. Now select your test tool again and I'm going to copy this one here, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase it. okay then duplicate duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then bring it over here highlight it and i will copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste and change the font color to white then reduce the size something like this then I'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then duplicate this one ctrl plus j highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste also duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate Highlight it and I'm going to copy this one. The control plus V to paste. Then I will increase the size of this one. something like this all right so having done this one the next one the next one i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy and i will duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it to the top here 
then position it over here and copy this one then change this one to zero then duplicate this one you bring it down or position it somewhere here highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste now reduce the size then i'm going to import the icon reduce the size ctrl plus u then change the color to white okay and here is what you will have then i'm going to drag it down using my arrow key then also this one i will bring it down like this now i'm going to select this one hold your shift key to select then and I group it so over here is for my time and date then now go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this location icon then reduce the size Then Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation, change the background color to white. Then go to your test document and copy your location. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change this font to, I'm going to use Lato here. Then reduce the font size. And uh, I'm going to increase it this way. Also, close the space a little. Then 6% is okay. Then hold your shift key to select it. Now Ctrl plus G to group it. So over here you can see the outcome. Now I'm going to reduce this one a little. It's okay like this. Then I'm going to bring this one down. Then the time and date. Then I will bring it down and uh, increase the size a little. And the test here, I will increase the size something like this then I will increase the size of this one a little it's okay so over here then you can see the outcome of the design so you can see this is the font I use in this tutorial.
all right so we are done with the tools in this tutorial all right thank you so much for watching please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video and if you want to optimize your video on social media then i have a tool body for you then check the link in the description to register for two body and then use it to optimize your youtube channel or any other social media and if you are interested for any of my design please you can use the fiverr link in the description to order for any design of your choice thank you so much i love you all thank you and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell i really appreciate your following Before I forget, there is something I need to do over here, which I almost forgot. So I have to create a line here. So now I'm going to select my rent angle too. And I will draw a line over here like this. Then this one, I will leave it with the white background, then duplicate this one. And I will bring this one over here. So then something like this. Then this one, I'm going to change the color to this. Then, so you have something like this. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching.